creatively speaking, it was such a fertile environment. Like Dave Klein is my DP, shoots uh, most of the stuff I've done. And generally speaking, I shoot very simply, very straightforward, because the movies we make, just people talking to each other. Never made sense to me, like whip cameras around when people are just having a conversation. So on this movie, it's about way more than that. It's not all about conversation. There's dialogue, to be sure, but not nearly as much as normal. So on this movie, since it lends itself to more frenetic atmospheres, some shit going on that I never really work in in my other stuff, I told Dave Klein, I was like, just go nuts, man. Like, what would you do? What would you like to do? And he was just like, oh, shit, man, I'd like to try this, this, and this. I was like, let's do it. And he would do it and shit, and I'd have that footage that we shot on reds and we shot on those Canon 5Ds, man. His flexibility was fucking astounding. But the look of it was so fantastic. Like, I, they dumped that footage in the Avid. I'm a big Avid guy, obviously. They dump it into the Avid by, and that night, and by the next morning, I'd cut together the scene. I spent the entire time cutting. I'm a cutter myself. I don't like to sit behind somebody when they cut. I've been cutting since, like, well, I've been cutting since Clerks, but I've been cutting on Avid since 96. So for me, that's the best part. Like, that's, I only direct movies just so I could get footage to cut movies and stuff like that. Yeah. So um, I, I would cut that all night long. And Dave's look, the fucking, the, how different it looked from everything else we did was inspiring. Like, that made me want to keep going. I'm like, holy shit, we're on to something here, and as much as don't look like my normal shit. So I just kept pushing. I'm like, try this, try this. Throw the camera off the roof, all that dopey shit. <laughs> um, and, and for me, it, it, it really it, it kind of fired me up. The better it looked, the better a filmmaker I became. I swear to you, I don't know how to explain it. And some people called bullshit on me. I said yesterday, I was like, I haven't made me a better filmmaker. And some people was like, oh, you're fucking paid or something. Bullshit, I've been saying that since 96. But definitely in this movie, more so than anything else, the technology made me a better filmmaker. Between those Reds, those Canons, and Avid, I, I would just, I felt the possibility. I was just like, you know what? You don't have to fucking work like normal. Go crazy, man. Get cut heavy. Fucking go frenetic. Try something different. And I'd see Dave's footage, and I'd come in the next day and be like, we got to push it. Push it even more. Go fucking league it. When we're running through the house, do it like born, fucking born identity. He's like, why? I was like, who cares? No rules. Do it, you know? 